That's the lot, and we ain't found nothing yet. Someone's coming. Let's get. Girl? Little girl? Is this your dolly? Is this your dolly? What's your name, little lamb? Do you die? Can you hold your dolly?
Hi, Pa. Yeah. Well, did you find anything? Any clues? Any identification? Well, you know, all the, the trunks and the clothes that Haas said were scattered all around? Mm -hmm. They're gone. The gun? Yeah. Sheriff Coffee figures some squatters must have come along and helped themselves. Uh, I thought there'd be some identification we could find from the clothing or the, the trunk. I wish Hossett paid a little more attention to them. Well, he was probably too worried about the little girl. Well, what's Roy going to do? Well, he's wired towns in both directions. See if he can't get some clues to the identity of those poor people. Oh, that takes such a long time. That little child needs help. She worries me. I, well, she needs somebody to take care of her whom she knows, somebody she's comfortable with. Yeah. Now, where's she now? Upstairs, I was just washing her hands and face. Mm -hmm. Supper is ready. Mr. Carton, lighter. Thank you, Suchin. Thank you. How's up, Singh's uncle making out? Oh, fine. And he's prepared a soup for tonight. <clears throat> Go wash up. No, I'm not dirty. Go wash your hands, Joseph. Yes, sir. Horse, supper's ready. Where'd you taste this soup? Here you are, young lady. Very nice. Isn't she pretty? She sure is. Very nice, horse. Very, very, very nice. I think some of that soup's about all she's going to be able to go this meal. I asked Su Chen to fix her up something special. Su Chen? Ah, uh, sure it's not too hot. New horse. Thank you. Just right, thank you. <coughs> there you are, young lady. Now you dive right in. Now listen, you know you gotta eat. You got a nice glass of milk and a nice bowl of soup that old Su Chen made for you. He makes good soup. Take a little taste of it first. For Hulse? That's a doll. Ain't that good? Let's have another one. Oop. There you go. Doggone, that's pretty good, isn't it? Here's a good one. Oop. It must be pretty good soup. Look at the way she's eating it. That is good. I really get you. You look into those staring eyes. Poor little thing doesn't say anything. It's enough to break your heart. Child is in shock. A terrible experience. Terrible. I just wish there was some way we could help her. Well, I'm going in to see Doc Martin in the morning. Say good night. What? Old gown of mine that I cut the bottom out of. <laughs> well, there's still room for about five of her. Well, doggone it, she's sweet enough to be five. I wish she was. Good night, darling. Can you say good night? You have pleasant dreams. Good night, Paul. Let me know as soon as you get a reply from any of those telegrams you sent out, huh? I sure will, Ben. I already promised Horse. Horse? Yeah. Has he been here? Yeah, about an hour ago. <laughs> Hi, Pa. 
Where you been all morning, huh? Oh. I went to town. I think I might find out something about our, our little guest. Hey, what'd you find out? Well, I found out that I was running an hour behind a horse wherever I went. Where is that fella? Uh, he went out riding fence as soon as he got back. Oh, where's the little girl? She went with him. She went with him riding fence? Yeah. It was kind of cute, too, Pike. You should have seen her. She's sitting up there on a horse behind him, those little arms trying to go around that big middle of his. <laughs> well, you tell that fella with the big middle I want to see him as soon as he gets back here. Okay, I'll do it. Joe tells me you want to talk to me. Yeah, that's right, Hoss. I'd like to talk to you alone. Fine, I'll be down in just a minute. I'll take her up and get her all cleaned up. Yeah, it's all right. I'll take her up. No. She wouldn't like that. She's she's used to me. Now, Hoss, Joseph is perfectly capable of washing a little girl's hands and face. You take her along, Joe. Right. Come on, huh? That's exactly what I want to talk to you about, Hoss. That little girl needs a whole lot more care than a bunch of bachelors like us can give her. What's wrong with the care I'm giving her? Oh, nothing's wrong with it, except she needs a... she needs a woman's care, like, like Mrs. Jenkins would give her if you'd let her. Paul, what do you got against having a little gal in the house, anyhow? Oh, Hoss, don't try to make me out an ogre. Nothing, of course not. That little girl isn't our little girl. Well, I found her. And I'm going to take care of her if somebody claims her. I'm going to go up there and get her right now. No, you're not. You're going to stay right here. Because if that little girl is going to stay in this house until her relatives find her or we find her relatives, then she'd better get used to all of us taking care of her. Right now, you start cleaning up those guns. You've been neglecting them long enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see. There. Now, you see, Uncle Joe did that just about as well as Uncle Hoss could have. Now, let me have a little bit of a look at you here. We gotta give you the whole inspection. Ear number one, clean as a whistle. Ear number two, clean as a whistle. Now, I have a little surprise for you for being such a good girl. You wait. Something I picked up for you in town. Here we are. Now, let's see what we got right here. See? What do you think of her? This dolly's name is Lucy. And Lucy's a good little girl because she has, has clean ears just like you do. And uh, she's got little flowers on her hat and everything. And she's all yours. You take Lucy and give her a hug because she's lonesome. There. Hey, now I've got an idea. Why don't you stay up here and, and get acquainted with Lucy, and I'll go downstairs, and then in a little while, you come on down and, and show her to Pa and Hoss and surprise him. Okay? Okay. Hey, where's the little gal? How come she didn't come down with you? Uh, she'll be down in a minute. You get these clean? I don't like to leave her up there by herself. Why, well, will you stop, boy? I said she'd be down in a second. That's probably the rifle that did it. She thought I was trying to hurt Hoss. Yeah. Think we ought to go up there? No, no. no. I'll just do let Hoss take care of her. She's used to him. Let's finish cleaning these guns. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to take this one into Muscatel's gun shop, huh? Hey, Paul, Joe. She's all right. Oh, good. No good. fooling. She, she talked to me. She what? Really? She talked to you? Yeah, I was telling her all about what we was going to do tomorrow and right out of a clear blue, she, she spoke to me. Hey, the doc said that another shock might cure her. Come on up here for yourself. I want you to tell Paul and little Joe what part of the Ponderosa you like best. Huh? Well, I don't know. She, she looks the same to me. Remember us talking about the lake? Remember? Huh?
Boss, are you sure she talked before? Yeah, I'm sure. I reckon she's just tired or something. Maybe the whole thing's a little too much for her. We'll see you a little later, dear. You, you get your nap, sweetheart, and we'll, we'll see you after a while, all right? she talks to him? Oh, I don't know. I was just so obsessed with that child. Once it would get well so badly, maybe... maybe he imagines she talks. Now then, up you go. Set easy on old Chubb. You might break him down or something, you're so big. She sure looks cute on everybody, doesn't she? Look how tiny she looks. Where are you going? I'm going into town to talk to Roy, see if he's found out anything about the little girl's relatives. Oh, horse isn't going to like it much if he has. Well, horse is going to have to get used to the idea that that little girl isn't his. <laughs> well, don't let me interfere with your legal duties, Roy. <laughs> Good. Keep working. I can talk with you. Now, I was all through in there. Huh? And my next duty was to come out and see you. Oh, did you find something out about the little girls, folks? Well, something, but not exactly what I wanted to find out. I was able to trace the murdered people back to St. Louis. It seems that they were rather wealthy and they were on their way to San Francisco to set up a business there. And they were probably carrying considerable money. Yeah, terrible. Terrible thing. Oh, what about some relatives in St. Louis? There was none that I could find out about. But on the chance that they did have some in San Francisco, I wired the marshal there. Yeah, well, that's a good idea, Roy. That's a good idea. Oh, and if you find out anything, be sure that I know about it first, huh? Well, sure, Ben, but why? Well, it's, uh, it's Hoss. Hoss has, uh, has become kind of attached to the little girl, you know? He, <laughs> he almost... Thinks the little girl belongs to him, you know. And uh, if there are any relatives, I'd, I'd like to have the opportunity of telling him so that, you know, sort of let him down easy. I understand that, and I certainly will do that. There was one other thing that I did find out. The, the little girl's name is Lisa. 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 Thank you, Roy. Thank you. Uh -huh. Give my best to heart. Yep. Yeah, sure, is George, do you have any, uh, any dresses for little girls? Well, sure. Plain or fancy? Plain, I guess, would be better. You say plain. Little girls say fancy. Oh. Well, maybe it better be fancy, then. <laughs> Is it? Jim and Hank. Come on in. That was some tip you gave us, Mr. Collins. 
We didn't find nothing. I know. My brother-in-law was very shrewd. What's that supposed to mean? Well, my wife got a second letter from her sister saying that they were worried about what might happen to them on the way, so they changed their plans. Plans? I am in no mood to play games, Mr. Collins. Now, let's have it straight. What did they do with the money? Send it on ahead to San Francisco. Where in San Francisco? She didn't say that. All she said was that if anything happened to them, the information would be inside a doll the little girl was carrying. A doll? Didn't see no doll. How about you, Hank? Me neither. Yeah, Lisa undoubtedly has it with her. How do we get to Lisa? Well, Sheriff Coffey sent me a wire from Virginia City saying that she was being cared for by the Cartwrights out at the Ponderosa. Now, I'm going to drive back to Oriana tonight. I'll come back in the morning by stagecoach and officially claim my wife's niece. You two guys get out to the Ponderosa and keep an eye on it. See if you can get your hands on that doll. There better be something in that doll, Mr. Collins. We've wasted enough time already. Don't talk to me about time. The bank examiners are due the first of the month, and if I haven't got that money, where do you suppose I'll be? Now, you get out to the Ponderosa and get your hands on that doll. Prettiest little gal I ever saw. Oh. oh, you're getting big. Oh, howdy! I bet you that Lisa must be a little strange with uh, only a house full of men for company. How'd you find out her name was Lisa? Uh, well, maybe we ought to discuss that alone. Huh? Yeah, maybe. Look, honey, you run along upstairs and wash up. I'll see you in a minute. Telegrams have established that her mother and father were on their way from St. Louis to San Francisco with a considerable amount of money. She, uh... She have any other relatives in St. Louis? Well, none that Roy could determine. I knew she wouldn't. Roy's wiring San Francisco to see if she has any there. It won't do no good. She ain't got none there, neither. Oh, well, how do you know that? Well, uh, I just feel it. I, I know she ain't. I just, I just know it. <sighs> He's got to get over this feeling he has with that little girl because sooner or later some relative is going to show up. Yeah. 
I just think it's silly, that's all. All right, so you think it's silly. Now, what's this hot discussion about? Well, I just think it's silly for him to keep dressing a little girl up like a little boy all the time. That's not a fact. That's a fact, yes. Supper almost ready. No, well, I'll run up and get Lisa. Hey. Good evening, everybody. Hey, did you hear that? Did I tell you she could talk? Getting better all the time. Come here, honey. Come on down. My, oh my, oh my, how pretty you are. Hey, where'd you get that new pretty dress and that little dolly? From... From Uncle Ben. From Uncle Ben. And Uncle Little Joe. And Uncle Little Joe. So, you two fellas have been trying to steal my gal behind my back, huh? We just wanted to show you that we're really not as hard-hearted as you think we are. Come on over here now and tell me all about that lovely little dolly that you've got. Now, what's the dolly's name? Lucy. Her name is Lucy. Lucy? That's a beautiful name. She lives in a box in my room. Really? In a box? Yes. I hide her there so the bad men can't find her. Oh, well, you don't have to do that around here. There's no bad men around here. Unless, of course, you think Pa and Hoss and I are bad men. No. These are really, truly bad men. Lisa, honey, you don't, you don't need to talk like that. There ain't no bad men around here. They're around here. The same bad men who did those things to my mommy and daddy. Sweetheart, are you making up a story? No, Hoss. I saw them. When? This morning, after you saddled the horse and went into the house for something you forgot. Yeah, that, that'd be our lunch. Well, I chased a chicken back into the barn, and there they were, the bad men. They said, come here. But I ran out, and when I looked back, they were gone. Why didn't you tell me all this then? I was afraid. Now set the hands, see if they know anything about this. Yes, sir. Well. Good morning, Uncle Ben. Good morning. Uncle Little Joe. Well, good morning, beautiful. <laughs> Where are you off to this early? Oh, Lisa and I thought we'd go out and have ourselves a picnic. Oh, are you going to take your dolly? Uh-huh. You know, hmm. Lucy has never been on a horse and didn't want to come along. Oh. But I told her I'd hold her tight and that the horse would walk slow. Is that all right, Hoss? That's fine, sweetheart. Come along. Uh, you have a good time now. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Oh, boy. You know, when a Hoss has kids of his own, his wife won't see him more than an hour a day. <laughs> She's lucky. <laughs> yeah, you... You make a good father. <laughs> he also makes a good mother. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have some breakfast. All right. Now... Ain't this a pretty place for a picnic? Yes, Hoss. It's very pretty. Let me help you down. Down you go. Yes, sir. It's a mighty pretty place, all except for that place over there where that fence is down. You wouldn't mind, would you, if after we get through with our picnic, old Hoss goes over there and fixes that fence? No, Hoss. Lucy and I won't mind. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a canteen, I'm going to go down to the lake and get us a canteen of cool lake water. And if you and old Lucy get hungry before I get back, you just dive right into that basket, all right? I'll wait for you, Hoss. And so will Lucy. That's a nice kid. Hey,
I know you're hungry, Lucy, but we'll have to wait till Hoss gets back till we can eat. Lisa? Lisa? Oh, you sure did a fine job locating Lisa's uncle. I'll tell you that. Well, thanks. Let's just hope that he's on that stage like he worried he was going to be. Oh, thank you. Sheriff Coffey? Are you Mr. Collins? I am. Hope you had a nice trip. Thank you. I want you to meet Ben Cartwright. He's been taking care of Lisa. Mr. Collins, certainly a pleasure to meet you, sir. Oh, I'm very happy to meet you, Mr. Cartwright. My wife and I are very grateful to you. Oh, Lisa's a lovable child. She's been no trouble at all. It's been wonderful having her at the Ponderosa. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. You know, my wife and I have never seen Lisa. We're gonna have to find some way to make up this terrible tragedy to her. Yes. Really, a terrible tragedy. I, I'm not quite sure that she realizes what has happened. I hope not. Be often so young. It's ghastly, huh? Terrible, just terrible. Well, gentlemen, shall we get on down to my office? You did bring the uh, identification I asked for. Mm -hmm. No offense, man. It's just that I've got to be sure, you know. Why, of course. You'd be derelict in your duties otherwise, Sheriff. <laughs> Lisa's uncle, my son Joseph. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Pleasure's mine. Uh, where did uh, Hoss say he was taking Lisa for that picnic? She I don't know. Paul! Paul! She's gone. Lisa's gone. What happened? Well, I, I went down to the lake to get some fresh water, and when I got back, she's gone, that's all. You mean you left her alone? Yeah, Dad burned it for just a minute. I left her up there in the picnic basket, and when I got back, there wasn't no sign of her. There's just some hoof prints around there, and I traced them off up into a rocky ridge and lost them. Joe, settle up a couple of horses. Cartwright, if anything happens to that girl, I'm going to hold you and your sons personally responsible. Look at your gun. Nothing. Not a thing. What's the matter with Collins, anyhow? Don't he know what he's doing? You know something? I bet she knows what happened to the information that was inside that doll. Maybe you're right. Little girl, you're going to tell us what we want to know. You understand? Well, there sure isn't any sign of tracks around here. Maybe we all ought to spread out if anybody sees any tracks and signal the others, huh? Sounds sensible. Hey, Pa, I was just thinking, remember that old deserted ranch house? It's just over the rise there. Maybe we ought to have a look. Yeah, that's a good idea. What'd you do with it? You want to tell us? It ain't no use, Jim. She doesn't even hear us. Maybe so. Or maybe she's just playing possum. Hank. Stick one of those twigs in the fire and make it hot. Oh, Jim, you ain't... What do you want to do? Stick around here till somebody tracks us down? Fine, 
to those horses belong to. Hey, Jim, somebody's out there. Side of the house. I should go straight ahead and fire over their heads, keep them down. All right, ready? Go. Let's get out of here. You all right? Sure. I had to do it, Mr. Cartwright. It was my life or theirs. Oh, they're both dead. Oh, Hoss, they broke my dolly! Don't you worry, honey. They ain't gonna break it no more. So, dear. But I don't want to go with him. Well, he's your uncle. Just the same. I don't like him. Did Haas say I had to go? Oh, yeah, honey, Haas, he said you had to go. And that uh, you should be a good girl and do everything your aunt and uncle tell you to do. Sure wish he didn't have to go fix those fences again this morning. Feels funny going away without saying goodbye to him. Yeah, I know it does. Maybe we, maybe we should say goodbye right here, huh? Goodbye, dear. You be a good girl now. We love you. Let's go. There we are. Collins, you're going to have to pound the road pretty hard if you're going to get to Virginia City before the stage leaves at 10 o'clock, so you hang on tight now. Oh, by the way, Mr. Cartwright, I'm terribly sorry I was sort of sharp with you, but I was very worried about what might have happened to her. Oh, I understand, of course. Bye, Lisa. Thanks again. Bye. Remember this place, Lisa? I don't like it here. Oh, there's nothing to be afraid of. You're with me. 
You tell me where you lost your doll, huh? Can't we go away from here, please? Not till we find that doll. You understand? Find that doll. You're hurting me. Not as much as I'm going to hurt you if you don't try to remember. But I don't know where I dropped it. If you don't remember, if you don't do as I tell you, I'm going to cut this doll up. See? Huh? Like that. <laughs> Sweetheart, he's not going to hurt either one of you anymore, you hear? Look! I found her. I knew where I had dropped her, but I never told him. So that's what he was after. Wonder why? Mommy told me there was something very important inside, and I mustn't show it to anybody. Lisa, you reckon you could show it to old horse? Yes, Hoss. Lisa's aunt gets into that three o'clock stage in San Francisco. That doesn't give you too much time. Yeah, I know. I guess he's having a little hard time saying goodbye. Hoss, you better hurry. What are you doing just standing there? Don't you know your Uncle Little Joe's waiting for you outside to take you into Virginia City? You ain't come all the way from San Francisco to fetch you. <sighs> Honey, she, she's your mommy's sister. She's a good woman. She's not like your uncle. He was a bad, bad man. And he'll go to jail for a long, long time. But your aunt will take you back to San Francisco, and you'll go to school, and you'll, you'll grow up to be a nice, big lady. Not no dang tomboy. Aren't you going with me, Hoss? Old Hoss got to stay here and fix fences. Hoss, I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. Now, come on. We go. You all ready? Uh-huh. Uh, 
Probably the best thing after all, anyhow. Dang ranch ain't no place to raise a little gal. Just turn her into a tomboy or something. Dang talkative little old gal, anyhow. Regular chatterbox I ain't got time to put up in all that foolishness. Pretty? She sure is. Very nice horse. Very, very, very nice. I think some of that soup's about all she's gonna be able to go this meal. I asked Su Chen to fix her up something special. Su Chen? Ah. Uh, sure it's not too hot. New horse? Thank you. Just right, thank you. <laughs> there you are, young lady. Now then, dive right in. Now listen, you know you gotta eat. You got a nice glass of milk and a nice bowl of soup that old Su Chen made for you. He makes good soup. Take a little taste of it first. For hogs? That's a doll. Ain't that good? Have another one. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? Here's a good one. Oh, it must be.
be pretty good soup. Look at the way she's eating it. That is good. You know, it really gets you. You look into those staring eyes. Poor little thing doesn't say anything. It's enough to break your heart. Hi, Pa. Yeah. Well, find anything? Any clues? Any identification? Well, you know, all the, the trunks and the clothes that Hoss said were scattered all around? Mm -hmm. yeah, they're gone. They're gone? Yeah. Sheriff Coffee figures some squatters must have come along and helped themselves. Ah, I was hoping there'd be some identification we could find from the clothing or the, the trunk. I wish Hoss had paid a little more attention to them. Well, he was probably too worried about the little girl. Well, what's Roy going to do? Well, he's wired towns in both directions. See if you can't get some clues to the identity of those poor people. Oh, that takes such a long time. That little child needs help. She worries me. I, she needs somebody to take care of her whom she knows, somebody she's comfortable with. Yeah. Now, where's she now? Upstairs. I was just washing her hands and face. Mm -hmm. Supper is ready. Mr. Carton, light. Thank you, Suchin. Thank you. How's up, Singh's uncle making out? Oh, fine. And he's prepared a soup for tonight. <clears throat> Go wash up. No, I'm not dirty. Go wash your hands, Joseph. Yes, sir. Horse, supper's ready. Oh, thank you, Sir Tim. Where did you taste this soup? We ain't found nothing yet. Someone's coming. Let's get. Girl? Little girl? Hi. 
Is this your dolly? Is this your dolly? What's your name, little lamb? See you, Dolly? Can you hold your Dolly?